Hey what's up everyone welcome to another video this is a new video series with Nitesh Nitesh is studying masters in software engineering at CMU or also known as Kargini Mallon University as you know Kargini Mallon University is one of the top universities for masters in computer science or software engineering I was very fascinated but that's not the interesting part Nitesh actually did his bachelor's in mechanical engineering and also had a very low GPA in spite of all that he was able to get into top college like CMU like always I'll leave the timestamp right here so you can skip to any part of the video you want to also this is a three-part video series in this one we talk about how he got into CMU in the next part we talk about the software engineering course work itself and the third part we talk about how he got internship as software engineering at as a software engineer at SAP. Nitesh, if you're watching this, thank you so much for doing this. It means a lot to me and our UD Squad community. Last but not the least, thank you so much for all the love and support you've been giving me to my videos. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And now I will let you enjoy the video. Let's do a quick round of intro. Like, you know, where are you right now? Where are you from in India? And what do you do uh, currently? Uh, well, currently I'm in Pittsburgh and, uh, and I'm at CMU doing my master's in software engineering. Um, I kept coming from Mumbai in India and in Pittsburgh, well, every, as everyone is, I'm going through online education as everybody is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually start with uh, your profile in Mumbai, like, you know, where, where, where did you study? Like, you know, what, what's your background in bachelor's mm -hmm. and kind of GRE, TOEFL and things like that? Yeah, so, um, well, I was in Bits Pilani, uh, which is in Pilani. Uh, I did my undergrad from there. Uh, I did it in mechanical engineering and economics. It's a five-year dual degree program. So you go in with economics and you take in another bachelor's degree based on your first year GPA. And then you uh, have two degrees, a BTEC degree and a science MSc degree. Wow, okay. So, That's cool. Yeah, so it's a kind of a... Uh, economics and mechanical is a sort of a weird mixture, I know, uh, but yeah, Bits Pilani allows you to do any sort of crazy combinations. Right, right. So yeah, I did my undergrad in mechanical and economics, and after that, uh, when it came to GRE, I started prepping in the last uh, semester, uh, the semester, second last semester actually. That would be my five one. Yeah. Uh, where I started prepping for GRE and I gave the GRE around that time and I got a score of 322, which is uh, a decently good score. Decently uh, good score? It is great score. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, actually, a lot of my peers from BITS actually got much better scores. So, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 322 and what did you give TOEFL or did you give ILTS? Uh, I give TOEFL and uh, I got a 110 in that. 110. Okay. Uh, that's that's 110. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And what about uh, undergrad score? Like, what was your GPA for that? Uh, GPA, honestly, not very good. I was uh, not very interested in mechanical. And, but economics was fun. So the first part of the degree was going well, but mechanical, not so much. So I ended up doing my own stuff. Like, I had my own project in CS. So I ended up getting a six-point GPA. Six-point. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. That and that's that's the inspiring and interesting part of your your profile. Like in spite of this profile, you were able to get into CMU, which is one of the top colleges. Mm -hmm. And uh, your switch to computer science or like software engineering, like mm -hmm. what made you go to that? Like what what made you first decide that you wanted to do masters and why software? Uh, so, uh, well, I wasn't very sure about the bachelor's degree that I would select, but uh, in India, we had the, we have the whole computer science field where everybody wants to do it. I wasn't really sure about it. So, Bits Pilani allows you to pick your bachelor's after your first year. So, um, well, first of all, I didn't secure a good GPA and I got into mechanical. But uh, then I saw computer science as my calling because... Uh, I started doing some projects of mine. So I got into this department which handled technical things for the college festivals. Mm. So we used to build Android apps for the college festivals. And mm -hmm. it was quite an interesting experience where I picked up Android on my own. And uh, this was way back in 2015 when okay. Android was a big deal. And yeah, yeah. it was really hot. 
and uh, I picked up Android and started making apps for college festivals. And uh, that's where uh, that was my I think my steepest learning curve where I started a technology, picked up a technology and started on my own. Uh, after that, I had a few internships as well in the tech space. So after I went into that, I had a few internships. I started realizing that, OK, maybe I am good into this. Maybe I should go into this domain. So then I thought of getting... It was, the, it was the internship during you were studying, like where when you were doing your bachelor's? Yeah, yeah. So people don't usually do an internship after the first year, but I, I did. Nice. So I, I did a CS internship after my first year as well. And there's a college mandatory in, internship after my second year, which you have to do, which everybody does. Got it. And uh, there's another mandatory internship which people have to do uh, in their final year. Apart from that, I had another internship in my fourth year, which was also in tech, which I ended up, uh, I reached out to a few recruiters and I ended up doing that as well. So this was a startup, actually, the one I did in fourth year, which Got was a whole it. different experience. So at that point, I was like, I will get a job uh, in the software engineering field. And uh, I wasn't really sure. Uh, also, you get discouraged a lot because usually the people that go in for masters, they're all uh, maybe nine pointers, maybe star eight pointers, something <laughs> like that. And everybody's like, uh, they, these are the kind of people who go for masters. Others usually do a job for a couple of years or three years and then go in for masters, But uh, which is why I was discouraged. But I think my mom came in and said, like, uh, what's the worst that could happen? You apply, you don't get it. That's fine. You go for a job. Right. Uh, but you won't have that regret of not having applied. It does cost a little bit of money, but right. yeah, if you have that much, then you can give it a try. So did you have any work experience, like full-time work experience, or did you just come right after bachelor's? Uh, I have no full-time work experience, but I have like one year of internship experience. Got it. Okay. So your GRE score was 322, TOEFL was 110, uh, six point something, and four, in, four internship, about a year of an internship. Mm -hmm. And your side projects and hustle you did on your own. Mm -hmm. um, so pretty good uh, profile. How did you, ma like what all colleges did you apply to and uh, what all admits and rejects did you get? So when it came to college selection, it was, it took a really long time. So it was, so I got out a list of, first of all, the top hundred colleges in the U S so you have to start with the Excel sheet when it comes to this. <laughs> so you start out with the top hundred colleges in the U S then you go to each one's website. And then you look at what are they looking for. So each one's website is different and they give you a different feel as mm -hmm. to whether are they looking for GPA, are they more focused on the internship or work experience, what are they mostly looking for. And everyone has a list of prerequisites. Right. So, so if you don't uh, have that minimum cutoff that they are looking for, they won't even consider your application in most cases. Yeah. So I hardly applied for any programs that were MSCS. Mm -hmm. Because those are sort of research and core computer science programs and they are looking for people who have a good GPA and are from a computer science bachelor's program. I mostly applied for programs that are targeted at uh, like who are looking to shoot individuals into the industry, like uh, a program that trains people for industry level, uh, basically the sort of education that is needed for the industry. Right. Uh, like mostly professional programs. So those are the programs that I targeted. So I ended up applying to 10 colleges. What were those 10 colleges did you apply to? Um, I'll have to get the list down, but uh, I can't recall exactly. Some, was, some of them, it's fine. Uh, some of them, uh, there was Cornell. <laughs> oh, so the major colleges that I applied to, there were I think three. Uh, so CMU was one of them. Cornell was one of them. And uh, I think uh, UCI Vine was one of them. Mm -hmm. And the lower grade colleges were Santa Clara, uh, I think Oregon State, and um, I think University of Washington and stuff, places like that. And I don't remember the middle ones. So there were like three, three really amazing schools, three yeah. kind of not so well off and five really amazing. Right. Five so basically middle grade. safe, moderate, ambitious. Yeah, safe, moderate, ambitious. Yeah. Uh, oh, I forgot the word for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's okay. <laughs> and so what all admits did you get? Did you get all of them? Uh, no, no, I didn't get all of them. I mean, I just got two admits, which were Santa Clara and CMU. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. that's, uh, that's awesome. So what made yeah. you choose uh, CMU uh, versus Santa Clara? Well, for one, uh, the most attractive factor was uh, I, no, not the best first factor was a lot of people from my undergrad college had gone to CMU. I talked to them. I got a lot of reviews from them as to 
how CMU is, how SCS is, how this pro particular program that I'm going to do is. So I had seniors who had gone through the program as well. So I got in touch with them and a lot of seniors from BITS are actually very helpful and they help uh, the juniors out. I, I try to do the same. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, uh, so I got a good, lot of good reviews. Apart from that, uh, yeah. the pros were that CMU being uh, one of the best schools in the US. I think SCS and CMU yes. is one of the top uh, yeah. in the US. And uh, the fees was definitely on the higher end, but yeah. What do you think that made them uh, give you an admit? Uh, well, when it comes to the SOP, what I did was you need to have a really, they need to believe that you are actually interested in this. Mm. So you need to convince them that you are. So you need to come up with certain points like, like I went with the angle that uh, I was locked into this particular branch in India, but I still pursued what was interesting to me through these internships, projects and uh, basically my own projects. All right. So. I took that angle for SOP. Apart from that, um, the whole tone of the SOP needs to be certain, like, uh, despite of these difficulties, I still managed to do what mm -hmm. was passionate for what was my passion. Right. So you kind of connected the dots, like you, your, your passion, which is computer science or more of technology and you, mm -hmm. your, uh, and your projects and internship shows that plus that's what uh, CMU offers and Mm -hmm. You kind of match that dots, like okay, that's why I'm interested in in CMU. Yeah, yeah. How was how was your visa interview? Yeah, it was 45 seconds. So I read a lot of visa interviews online. So I was yeah. going through a lot of interviews of people and people giving their experiences on Facebook groups and MS and US groups and yeah. stuff like that. So I uh, saw people's experiences, and most of the people who got CMU admits they put this thing at the bottom, like if you got a CMU admit, they're gonna let you through for sure. <laughs> No problem. Yeah. So yeah. my interview was forty-five seconds. They just asked me which school, which program, uh, how are you going to fund it, who's going to be funding it. That's it. That's it. Nice, yeah. nice. So let's talk about fees in general. Uh, like, what is the tuition fees for CMU and and what's the cost of living? Yeah, tuition fees is quite high for CMU in comparison. I think it's twenty-four k per semester. Nah, and your so, course is three semester or four? Yeah, three semesters. So it okay. comes down to seventy two, and I think the I twenty amount uh, is around uh, ninety eight k or something. Whoa, that's, yeah. <laughs> that is yeah, that is crazy. That's yeah. a lot of money. Yeah, that that's a lot of money. And uh, living expenses, as it's shown on the I twenty, it doesn't really cost that much. It's mm -hmm. obviously a little bit. Uh, they put a buffer sort of in it. The I twenty. The living expense. What's the rent like over there? And uh, rent is kind of fine. I kind of since I had a friend, I kind of end up getting a good deal. I have few friends which didn't get such uh -huh. a good deal. People usually pay around uh, four fifty to six hundred dollars uh, mm -hmm. for rent. Got it. And then sometimes it's including utility. Sometimes it's excluding. It yeah. Depends sort of. Yeah. yeah. And so, would you say roughly around six hundred to eight hundred per month? Yeah, that is utilities and then utilities, food. Yeah, yeah, food. Yeah, yeah, I think eight hundred, eight hundred to nine hundred. I would say uh, yeah. maximum yeah. for food and utility and everything, groceries and stuff. Yeah. Right. Before coursework, let's talk about on-campus jobs. Uh, did you have any or like what? What's like a uh, the student get um, on-campus job on CMU? Yeah, students, master students do mostly. I didn't though, but I can tell you about it. Uh, so students usually end up getting a TA or an RA, or they get an on-campus job. So TA, uh, how much it pays, it depends on which department you're TAing with. So each department pays different, and uh, it's. I mean, I think it's pretty good only how much it pays for TA. RA pays pretty well, uh, but you need to be. Uh, really actually interested in what you are, what you're adding in otherwise it's not going to work out for you right right um apart from that the on campus jobs like the desk jobs and stuff like yeah. that which yeah, pay yeah, like yeah. The, somewhere around the minimum wage what's minimum wage at uh, in Pittsburgh? uh i think the minimum wage is 8.5 i'm not sure so i think the desk jobs pay around 9.5 10 uh, you did not choose to go do any kind of on campus. Uh, I, I I didn't go for a desk job or an RA. Uh, T, you can't TA in your first semester. Uh, oh, got it. I wanted to focus on my coursework, and which is why I didn't go for TAing. Or I, I am going to TA in the next semester, next fall. Got so, it. 
Yeah. And so you completed sec two semesters, right? And yeah, two semesters. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Mm-hmm.